Welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to reset your AT&T password. Check it out. And of course, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button right below the video. We do a lot of how to's, tutorials, and videos just like this one. Just like with the most any other video, what we're gonna to want to do first is of course, open up our browser of choice, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you're using. And we're gonna go on over to att.net. I'm gonna use Chrome in this case, att.net. Once that finishes loading, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna act like we're gonna sign in. So we'll click the sign in button in the top right hand corner. And then once that page loads, you're gonna see an option right here that says forgot password underneath where you would type in your password. Go ahead and left click on that link. It'll light up orange when you've got, when you have your mouse hovered over it. You'll be prompted with this message, you are being redirected to att.com, please stand by. And then it will load this page here. What you're gonna to want to do is fill in the information. So I did create a test email for this. So we're gonna do test2017 at att.net, which should be your email address. So you'll wanna replace that information with your email address. Uh, you can check this, save user ID, uncheck if not uh, using a trusted device. So if you're like trying to reset your password in like a library or any other with, that has public access to computers, you'll want to uncheck that box because you don't want it to remember that information. Uh, once you've done that, you're gonna want to type in the last name that you put on the account. So this might uh, take a little bit to remember. If you don't re do remember, just make sure that you have the last name that you used to get on the account. Once you've got that, go ahead and click on continue. And then it does say select a reset method. How do you want to reset your password? You're gonna click the little arrow on this drop down and you have a few different options. Now these options will differentiate depending on what options you set up when you first set up the account. So in this case, when I created this account, I did set up an option to send me a temporary password and I also did set up some security questions. If I do recall, AT&T actually does not let you set up an account without most of this information anyway. So whatever is easiest for you, if you click on send me a temporary password, you then have the options right here to send a text to a certain phone number or email to a, a alternate email address if you have one of those. If not, you can go ahead and select, I'll answer my security questions and then it will put in, uh, you'll have to fill out whatever security questions that you set up when you created the account as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually choose, send me a temporary password and I'm going to choose the phone number that we have on file here to send that password. Now, if you give me just a moment here, it'll be sending me an email or sending me a text message right now. And then once you've got that text message, go ahead and open it up and then type in the number that it provides you. Go ahead and type that in. Once you've done that and you've successfully inputted that information, you'll want to be able to create a new password. So here I'm going to create a new password. Once you've got that information in there, it will give you its security strength right here. As you can see, the one that I have in here is just a test. So it is a weak password. You will want to make sure that this says strong. And just to show you what it looks like, I will try to make one that says good. That's good enough right there. Let's see if I can make one even better here. Nope, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it right there. So uh, as long as it's green, should be good enough. Again, if you want to remember these passwords, write it down in a safe place or make a password that's easy for you to remember, but uh, try not to make it to where anybody can access it. So once you've done that, go ahead and click on continue. It'll give you a confirmation saying you've reset your password. Be sure to use this new password the next time you log in. Again, click on continue. It will then forward you to either the login page or it will actually send you into the uh, homepage of AT&T and then you can come over here in the top right hand corner and click on mail. Um, and then it may to redirect you to Yahoo because Yahoo and AT&T, they are partnered together. So if it does do that, again, just type in the information that they want at att.net and then it's gonna of course ask for the password. Oop, wrong one. Type in the password, click sign in. If you do get a prompt, Go ahead and put uh, either never, unless you do want it remembered. If like, again, if you're in the public place, click never. You don't want it to remember that information. If you are not, and you are the only one using this computer, you are more than welcome to click save to save that information. Either way, once you've done that, 
here you are, you're in your inbox and you are ready to go. Thanks everyone for stopping by and watching that tech tip. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below the video. And of course, leave any kind of comments or feedback in the comment section below the video as well. We will see you next time.